Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build out your first money page. So in the content creation section of the course, I run through all the theory of what you should be doing to create great content, the best practices to follow, how to structure your content. And whilst that is amazing, I always like to take things a little bit further and give you a real time walkthrough as well, as that is the best way to ensure you get the most value from this course. So I've actually already got my content back. It's this content right here. It's just under 3,800 words in total. So pretty much spot on with what we was after in terms of the word count. You can see we've got the title right here of best table saws. We've got our opening introduction paragraph. The table saw market is expected to reach approximately 823.5 million by the end of 2026. Table saws continue to grow in popularity due to their efficiency and versatility. So again, a really good introduction. This definitely entices the reader to read on. We've got stats in here about the table saw market as well, just proving we actually know what we are talking about. So the writer has done a really good job and they followed the content brief to a T, which is great. So all we need to do is now get this live on our website. So let's head over to our WordPress dashboard. And remember, money pages should always be created on WordPress pages. So don't be going ahead and using post. That should only be for your blog post. So let's go back over to pages and then click add new. Now, depending on what theme you installed, if you did follow the advice I gave in regards to page builders and using Elementor, then you should see this option right here at the top, edit with Elementor. So go ahead and give that a click. That is then going to open up your Elementor page builder where you can start to drag and drop some components. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and change this text right up here, Elementor 5412. This is just the page ID name for this specific page. So how I'm going to do that is by going into settings and then title right here, and I'll just change it to best table saws for now. I'm not too worried on the exact optimization of this page right now. I just wanna get it built out. And then in the on-page section, I'll be running through the best practices of how you can optimize this page for the maximum visibility in Google. But for now, the main purpose is just to build out the page. So we've got our title at the top. Then what do we have next? We've got our introduction, our first part of text. So I'm gonna copy all of this. I'm not gonna go into this part as that is the top seven picks. So that's when it actually goes into the detailed product review. So we don't need any of that. I'll just take all of this copy right here and then click copy, go back over to Elementor. I'm gonna click the plus icon. I wanna go for a full width column. I then want to click a plus in there and then change that to text editor or just drag text editor across. You can either put your text directly into here or you can just go to the box on the left hand side. It doesn't matter. It's exactly the same thing. I'm gonna paste that in like so and then just clean it up a little bit. Make the spaces a bit even. And let's do the one at the top as well. We've got a massive gap up here. There we go, it's a little bit smaller and nicer. I think this one isn't actually that level again. It's just back return, there we go. That would be our introduction. If you did want to add an image between the title and the introduction, very easy to do. Just go back to this icon right here, then grab the image and put it above your text. Then you can go in and select whatever image you would like. For example, we can go for something like this. Again, I'm gonna have a dedicated video and actually how to make these featured images. So for now, I'm not gonna worry. I'm gonna actually remove that. But again, just to give it more context, if you wanna add an image, it's very easy to do. There are lots of lots of options we have on the left-hand side and Elementor makes it super easy. Just pick what you want and drag it across. But for now, let's keep things very simple and basic. We've got our article title, we've got our introduction, after the introduction, the next thing we need to add is our comparison table. Now I have a great surprise for everyone watching this course. Just as a thank you for you know selecting this course, what I'm actually going to be giving you is what I call my comparison table files. And pretty much this is just two files which you need to upload to your website and it will give you a built at table so you don't have to faff around whatsoever building one from scratch. You can literally just upload my template and then customize it to suit. So let me show you exactly how you would do that. So let's just save this as it is at the moment. We'll save this as a draft. Let that save. That's perfect. And let's go back to the WordPress dashboard now. So exit to dashboard. So the first thing you need to do is install the plugin, which is called WordPress Table Builder. So go to plugins and then click add new. And then simply search for WordPress Table Builder like that. WP space table space builder, and then click install now, then activate. Then you can go ahead and skip this. 
Then what we want to do is go to WordPress table builder on the left hand side and click import and then literally import the file I'm going to upload to this course as a downloadable resource. So I'm going to click browse and upload it from my desktop, which is comparison table files. This is the one we want right here, .xml, and then click open. And then click import. And just like that, the table has now imported. There's one more step we need to do, which is go to appearance, customize, and we basically need to add some CSS code. Again, don't worry about getting into the code. I'm literally gonna provide you with everything, but pretty much all you need to do is open this TXT file, select everything, copy it, and then in your customize settings, all you need to do is go to additional CSS and paste it all here and click publish. That is it. So if you found that a little bit confusing and don't worry, as I'm also going to upload this as a downloadable resource and it pretty much just walks you through the whole process, you know, install the WordPress table builder plugin, import a template file, add the CSS code. And that is pretty much a three steps to get it set up. Then the remaining two is to literally customize the table to suit. And then you add the table shortcode to your page. So let me walk you through the last two parts of that. So we now have the code on our website. Let's clear that. So to show you what the table looks like, let's go back into our WordPress table and we'll go to all tables. And you can see we have a table right now. And if you preview what the table actually looks like, we can see here we have an amazing affiliate comparison table. All the products are already populated. You can literally just go into this table, change out the text to suit for the products you are promoting, change out the images, the ratings, and obviously all the links behind this as well. Make sure they include your affiliate links. But as I just said, this is my personal affiliate comparison table that I built myself. And you guys watching this course can get it for completely free. That is my thank you back to you. So anyway, let me show you how to customize this table. What you want to do is go ahead and click edit. It's actually very easy to edit. It's very similar to Elementor actually. In fact, that it's all drag and drop and you can just click into things and edit it. So what we want to do is pretty much change out this table to suit our content. So the first thing to note is that our content covers the top seven, where if you go over to the table, it actually includes 10 by default. So what we want to do is go ahead and delete three of these rows as they're not needed. What you want to do is click on the table and then click manage cells and then you scroll down and select the cell so it goes to a little hash color like that and then click remove row and just pretty much repeat that three times of course if you are reviewing 10 products and you are pretty much good to leave it as it is but as i'm just redoing seven i want to get rid of the last three let's go ahead and customize this now so the first product we are actually reviewing is this one saw top let's go ahead and give this a click it opens up this page on Amazon. So I'm gonna copy this title and this title right here, let's close this tab, a little bit confusing. This tab right here is gonna be the title uh, of the actual product. So I'll paste it in like so. You can easily change the color of the font as well if you want, just come to font color and literally pick for anything you think is gonna suit your current website. I'm actually gonna leave mine as is for now. Let's go ahead and change the picture. So again, let's go into Amazon. And let's actually save this image and we'll just call this exactly what it is, which is this saw stop professionals, actually quite a long word, but I'll just put number one in front of that just so I know which one it is. And you pretty much do the same process for all of the products you are doing and then go ahead and update it on the table. Just click replace image. Let's upload this image now, which is this one right here. Number one, saw stop. Select it, insert into post. And let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's go to size and you can see we can now make it bigger as well. And the most important thing, what you want to make sure you do is include your affiliate links on the table. So if we select the image, we have an option for link right here. So all you want to do is make sure you get your Amazon affiliate link and replace it on the table. So I'm already logged into my Amazon affiliate account, which is why I have these options right here. Amazon associates. I'm on the product. I want to get an affiliate a link for, so I'm going to click text and I always like to go for the full link and I'll just copy all of that command C go back to my table and where it says link command V and paste in my new link which if I scroll all the way through to the front somewhere around here you should see it has my unique Amazon affiliate ID in there which is right here tag equals cut in HQ oh my gosh probably a better idea to actually copy that up here so you can see that you can see the link actually has cut in HQ so that link is unique to me then what you want to do is go ahead and add that link to the title and add it to the check price button at the end so the title is very straightforward 
you simply want to go ahead and select it and then click this icon right here insert edit link in the url paste in your link again very easy to do and then for check price select it and then go to link and paste in your link like so like I said, you want to do that for all of your products. So what I'm going to do is fast forward the video and go ahead and do the remaining products. And just like that, our table is now populated. Of course, you can go ahead and update the ratings. The rating is actually very easy to do. You just hover over whatever rating you'd like it to give. So if I hover over one, then it's got a one star. If I hover over five and give it a click, it's then got a five star rating. So just go ahead and give these ratings. You can give them the same rating as the products actually are on Amazon. So this is a five star. So number one, I would give five star. And that's the idea. You want to kind of follow exactly what people on Amazon are saying as well. Just bear in mind, if you are recommending this is the number one table store, just don't go ahead and give it a one star and then the others four, three, five. It's just going to make no sense. So make sure it makes logical sense as well. But as a guide, like I said, just recommend following whatever they have on Amazon. However, for the purpose of this training video, I'll just go ahead and give some of these three stars, four stars, and just make it look a little bit natural. The other thing which I'd like to highlight is if you do not want to have this little trolley checker item on the button, just simply go ahead, give it a click and then click icon, select the icon and then go for the first one. That will then remove that. To be fair, I don't know why I actually have it on there. I've started to play around uh, on a few of my affiliate websites, just test out different things and see if adding that little buy trolley cart actually generates more clicks, which of course is more affiliate commissions. I'm currently in the process of running that test. It hasn't actually finished. So for now, I recommend just go ahead and removing that. If it does actually generate better results, having this on from my test data, then I will go ahead and update the course and let everyone know. But for now, I recommend leaving it like this. Once you're happy with your table, go ahead and click save. And then all you need to do is add the table shortcode onto your page. So you can see this is a table we just created. If I go ahead and give it a preview, Again, there's only one table on my site, but you can see what it's going to look like. It looks very nice, clean. We've got all our links. It's all linked to Amazon. Absolutely perfect. Let's go ahead and copy our table shortcode by clicking this icon. Then all we need to do is go back into the page. And it's this page right here, the one we was creating. Let's go ahead and continue editing with Elementor. And then all we need to do is search for an HTML section, drag it enter it below our little text like so, which is obviously introduction, and then paste in our short code. Now if we go ahead and preview the page by clicking this icon right here, this will then show us what the page currently looks like. So we have our introduction, now we have our comparison table. So things are looking very nice already, which is great. Then all we need to do is add in another section. Again, I'll go for full width. And then what I'm going to do in this section is add in a HTML widget by dragging it across like so. And then I'm gonna paste in my table shortcode. So it's gonna look like this in the back end, but if you actually go ahead and preview this table, you will see from the front end, it actually loads your introduction with your table below. So things are looking good so far. What I'll do now is I'll end the video here and this will be part one. And then we're going to resume in part two where we're going to continue to build out the page. See you there.